first time I was I had the opportunity to meet some senators and that's why I was Bin Laden existed in Afghanistan exactly 17 years before our government existed we inherited him and the fact is that such people were instigated by the CIA and by the government of America in that time to go and fight the Soviets and such people were called the heroes of independence and all of a sudden they have changed now to, hero to terrorists we don't say that we are defending terrorism but we need to know whether they are really terrorists or not we, we were called the puppets of America until 1998 so we don't know as to what what to do now we have been given no counter proposal and now the perception in Afghanistan is that maybe the United States is always looking for a boogeyman. Because so many people have their jobs following bin Laden now. If bin Laden is not there, they will lose jobs. They will rescue her and the women who were working with her and put her in jail. But I asked him that as to what is the reason behind blowing that. He said that if they don't care about our children, and he said the following thing. He said that if the world is destroying our present and future with economic sanctions, then who gives them the right to talk about our past? Some women were working in the Ministry of Health and Education and some other things. That he excuse did. me, excuse I, me. I went to their ministries and no women were working in the Ministry of Health. And so it's very embarrassing for, for us to sit here and listen to a criminal speak and ask him questions because, as you see, everything he says, every single word that comes out of his mouth is lie. Nothing is true. The people were still armed there when he was busy disarming people. And now when there is peace, there is security, women are going back to prove women are working. It is right that our women do not work in the Ministry of Defense. It's right that we don't use them as objects of advertisements it's right that they are not used for, for many other things that women shouldn't be.